Hey everyone, it's Georgia Farm doing Food Vlog. Wanted to give you guys an update. It's now August. Let you know where the bananas are. So here's our dwarf namwa. Uh, as you can see, it's huge. But unfortunately, no flower, no flag leaf, and no bananas. We are up to over seven feet, I believe. Let's get an official measurement here. Yeah, right at seven feet. So dwarf namwas, they fruit between six and eight feet for the stem height. So we are right in the middle of that range. It really could be any leaf now. Uh, or we'll find out that we don't, don't actually have a dwarf namwa and we got the wrong variety. So we'll have to stay tuned. About a month from now, we'll know for sure. Uh, essentially what we're looking for is the very top leaf, the newest leaf that comes out, is gonna be smaller than the previous one. And that's a sign that it's about to flower. Currently, the one that's coming out right now looks to be just as big as the previous one. So we're at least one more leaf before it even flowers. So that'd be two weeks total. But this thing is getting really big. If you come in and look at the diameter, it's almost 10 inches in diameter. This is a really thick base. And really, the trunk all the way up to here is even you know eight inches in diameter and our pup is growing like crazy this is only two three four five six seven eight leaves total and it's already up to four feet or so so this is really awesome i'm letting i'm cutting off all the other pups and letting just this one grow and it'll be the one that will replace his mother once this finally fruits we're really hoping if we can get it to flower in the next month by the end of August, I think we'll have enough time to actually get them to ripen before winter. I'm going to take you over here and I'll show you how the other bananas are doing as well. This is our double Mahoy. It's growing crazy too. Let's get an official height measurement here. Right at five feet. So this one's actually probably growing the fastest in terms of where it started. It was really stunted if you remember at the beginning because we had it in a small pot. Uh, and we had a lot of leaves grow at the same height, but now it's really starting to come out and really go fast. Our speed is like, it's really speeding up. We're getting over one uh, leaf a week now, really more about five leaves per four weeks. Uh, we got one, two, three, four pups coming out. These are all sword pups. You can tell by the really skinny long leaves. Typically you won't start seeing any of like the water pups or the sucker, water suckers until the root ball expands far enough to where they start popping out pups like over here, like a foot or two away from the base. And that's a sign that's a slower growing one you should cut off. Any of these are perfectly fine to keep to replace the mother plant. I'll put a video once we get a water pup to show you guys the differences and why you don't want to keep those. But for now, this one's growing really great. I'll cut these off as they get a little bigger. We'll probably let this one continue to go and be the one that replaces it. But super happy. I've been pruning these off. I just cut off four or five leaves to make sure that we're continuing to grow upward. And it's not really anywhere close to fruiting. Probably needs to know another foot at least before we start talking about a flower. And this one, every other flower is a double flower and get two bunches of banana. So this first one should only be one, but then next year we'll be able to get two. And finally, here's the ice cream banana. It's growing very fast as well. Right at five and a half feet tall. You can tell it's a lot skinnier. This one's gonna get really tall before it fruits. We're, we're probably not even halfway before it starts fruiting. So I really don't expect this one to be able to fruit, let alone this year, really at all, just because it can't really survive the winters here. I'm growing this one just for fun because it gets really big and it's an ice cream banana and we're gonna do our best to keep it alive. But for now, it's, it's really kind of a backup. The dwarf name one is the one that I'm really excited about. But the leaves are coming out really well. It's great, getting great upward growth here. And super excited to see where it goes. I'm gonna take a quick pit stop here and show you the corn. So it's really starting to grow up and get tall. As you can see, each of these actually have a cob growing on them now. Some of them are gonna start having two, uh, but we're, we're getting probably about an inch to an inch and a half in diameter for each of these. Uh, so maybe another month or so, and we'll actually be able to pick these uh, and put them on the grill. 
and here's where the real magic is. I told you guys the Vinci Coal banana was the fastest growing banana out there and it is not disappointed. I planted this just two months ago and it was like a little twig. It was dying, a tiny little twig, but look at it now. This is insane. We are now up to 27 inches in just two months in a pot. It's about to outgrow its pot. I was thinking this would take all summer and then bring it indoors and then plant it next spring, but it's about to outgrow the pot and I'm thinking about putting it in the ground. So if you guys live up north or anywhere where you're trying to grow bananas with a limited time frame, get a venti coal hole. If you haven't seen my video about planting a banana in a pot, go check that one out. I'll show you where I got it from. I gave the link on there. You can purchase your own for about 15 bucks. This is the banana to get. It's super fast. These are truly tiny. This one's awesome. It puts out so many leaves. Right about six inches tall right now. I'm really enjoying it. It's got a really beautiful color to it. This is the same as a like a Cavendish, like a dwarf Cavendish variety. Probably getting close to outgrowing the pot. Um, these only get to be about two feet tall and they, they do fruit, but it's not really edible. Um, this is kind of a fun one. We'll bring it indoors this winter and keep it going. Here's the watermelon that I've been growing. It's about palm size now. Get a diameter, about four inches. The variety that I'm growing here, um, it's a, a smaller type of watermelon than you see at the grocery store. It only gets to about, be about eight inches in diameter. So we're about halfway there. As you can see, I have it growing out of just a five gallon pot over here. Um, and it can do really well. Just make sure that you prune off any other fruits that start forming on it. Cause you can really only have, with this amount of soil, you can really only have one that's gonna be able to like grow and mature in the growing season. Same thing over here. The exact same setup, five gallon pot, just a single fruit. This is a cantaloupe. Same sort of thing. This one will actually only get to be about seven inches in diameter. And we're, looks to be about, about four inches, three and a half in diameter now. So we're again, about halfway on both of these, maybe another month or two, and we should be able to try it out. Just again, remember to prune off any other fruits because you can only get one. But thanks for watching everybody. It's been, Super fun growing all this stuff. I know I haven't posted in a while, I've been pretty busy, but I'll make sure to keep you guys updated at least with how everything's going here and hopefully we get a flower soon.